Hi everyone, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. This is an ATA, or Analog Terminal Adapter. And an analog terminal adapter is designed to convert the digital signal that comes from the Norstar phone system into an analog port. So an analog port would be used on things like a modem, a fax machine, a postal meter, or just a plain old telephone if you needed that for some reason. So let's take a look at this. Um, it's a small gray box, about 5 inches by 5 inches, and... On one side is these two modular ports, okay? Now, if you can see it in the video, there's a picture of a telephone on this side, on the left side, and then on the right side is like a picture of a little modular jack. So what these two ports do is, is this is where the conversion takes place. So for instance, um, a pair or a station port would come off of the Norstar phone system, go into this side here, the modular jack picture side, and then once that's done and the power has been connected, um, it would come out on this side as analog dial tone. So let's talk about the power for a second. Right here is this little uh, DIN plug, and that is where this guy plugs into. So in the United States, it's your typical 120 volt adapter, and it's got a DIN plug right here, which then plugs into here. Okay? So station port from the Northstar phone system goes in here, and then when the power is applied, this becomes an active um, plain old telephone dial tone port. And you would typically see these mounted on the wall in the phone room. They would be next to the phone system. Um, you could actually even put these out, you know, by the end user. For instance, you could unplug a Northstar phone system. I'm sorry, you could unplug the Northstar phone, and then you could take that line cord that went to the bottom of the phone, plug it into here, and then you'd have dial tone. The only reason I wouldn't recommend that is because it would probably wipe out the uh, station set programming, so like all the key buttons and speed dials and things would get wiped out. So that's not really a recommended thing to do unless that's going to be a permanent change. Okay, so that's what an analog terminal adapter does. This one's called an ATA-2. Um, they used to make an older one called the ATA, which was a little bit wider than this. Um, but mostly you see these ATA-2s now. And also, just, just to be sure we're talking about the same thing, when you see one of these little gray boxes, it has to say ATA on it in order for it to be an terminal, analog terminal adapter. They do make little gray boxes that also do things like remote access device and uh, SMDR uh, printer converters. So uh, look for the ATA symbol, and that will let you know that you're dealing with um, an analog terminal adapter. Okay, thanks for watching.